Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to be talking some different things that you can do for hydroponic systems to have success with them. We are going to be talking mold, mildew, fungus, and the big one, algae. Okay, so if you've had a hydroponic system, it doesn't really matter what brand. If you've dealt with one of these tabletop hydroponic systems, you may have seen some green algae or even some white fungus or something like that, some white fuzzy stuff growing on top of your system. And today I wanted to make a video to address some of those issues because I know that in my videos, some questions have come up and people are like, help, there's stuff growing on top of my thing. What am I gonna do? So. We're, just, we're here today to talk about that and at least give you some things to try to combat that issue and give you guys some success. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the water level of your system. Keeping the water level of your system very consistent is one of the most important things of your system. So if you look on your system, some of them have water gauges, some of them you just have to open them up and look inside and it'll have like a max fill line inside where you pour the water in. Wherever your water gauge is, you want to make sure that you are keeping that water level to its max fill line consistently. Now, does that mean that you have to check it every day? No, but every couple days you definitely should be checking on it and making sure that it is staying full. You will start to learn your system as you use it and things like that and you'll notice, hey, my system holds water really well. I don't need to check on it unless once a week or whatever it is. But at the beginning, I would definitely suggest every couple days, check on your system, make sure that, that water level is staying consistently at the max fill line. Um, what happens is as the water level rises and falls, the tops of those sponges start to dry out and get wet and dry out and get wet. And this is a breeding ground for things to start to grow. So we want to eliminate that as much as possible. We want to keep those sponges nice and wet on top so that it's not drying out just enough for something to take hold. Now that sort of speaks more to like the mold and the fungus issues. And so keeping a consistent water level on your sponges and in your system will take care of most of those issues. Also, a consistent cleaning schedule is important for your system. Most systems that I have used so far recommend a four week cleaning schedule. And really to clean your system, most of them are quite easy. I haven't used every system on the market, but I have used a couple and they seem fairly similar. So all you're gonna wanna do is take your top of your system off and dump out the old water that's in the bottom of your system. Wipe everything out with a damp rag really well. Make sure that there's no residue or scum or anything like that in the bottom of your system. Fill it up with fresh water and nutrients and then you can set your top plate back on. Consistent cleaning is very important as well. So nothing is going to be growing down here in the bottom if you are changing out the water every four weeks as they suggest. Now, the other problem that I see a lot of times happening is algae. So algae tends to grow in the wet conditions. So where your sponges are getting dry and wet and dry and wet, you're not gonna really see algae growing there. You're gonna see more of the mold and the fungus. If you are noticing that everything's staying good, you're keeping the water consistent, you're keeping your sponges nice and wet on top, but you're starting to see something green grow, that is your algae. And the reason that the algae is growing is because this light up here, this wonderful light that makes our uh, vegetables and things grow really well, is also the perfect environment for algae to grow. So it's nice and warm in your house, there's fresh water, there's ample light, and that algae wants to grow. So a couple tips to help you with that. First of all, if you are starting to see algae growing on, in your um, sponges on your system, you can do a solution of two tablespoons hydrogen peroxide to one quart of water. I like to put mine in a spray bottle and I will shield the plant and just spray the top of the sponge with that solution. That helps to kill anything that's starting to grow 
and you want to shield your plant because hydrogen peroxide can potentially burn the leaves of your plants. So just shielding the plant, spraying it around along the top, that will help kill whatever is trying to grow on top of your sponges. Then the second thing that you can do is you can place aluminum foil on top of your sponges. Now, if you are starting your system out fresh and you don't have anything growing in there yet, you can simply place the aluminum foil on top of your little sponge holders like this. Make sure it's nice and tight, wrapped around the bottom. And then I'm gonna use a um, chopstick. You can use whatever you have that can poke a little hole. And we're just gonna poke a little hole in the top of that aluminum foil, right where the hole in the sponge is where your seeds would go. Now, what this is doing is this is blocking the light from getting to that sponge. So if it's in darkness, that algae is not gonna wanna grow. So it's blocking the light, hence keeping your algae from growing. But of course, then your little seeds are getting the light that they need right through that hole and they'll come right up and grow right through there and do just fine. If you already have a plant growing in your system though, and you're starting to see some mold or uh, algae or whatever growing on the top of this little sponge down here, you can also just wrap the aluminum foil around the base of this plant. Now we don't want the aluminum foil to really be, it can be touching, but you don't really want it to be tight against your plant. You just want to wrap it around the base of that plastic holder that holds your sponge. And again, our goal here is just to block the light. So we wanna make a dark environment for that sponge so that our algae doesn't want to grow down there. So let me show you there. I just wrapped the aluminum foil around either side of this plant and um, made sure it was nice and tight. The last tip that I have for you guys is making sure that your sponges are staying down inside of the water. So as your sponges um, start to soak up the water, they will expand and get bigger. And sometimes they like to push up out of their little holders a little bit. And it's important that those sponges stay down in the water, just like we talked about a few minutes ago, how that drying and getting wet and getting dry, getting wet, getting dry can breed some issues, you want to make sure that your sponges are staying down inside of that water as much as possible. You don't want them poking up out of your little plastic holders. You want them down inside of it. Well, that's it for my tips and tricks video for your hydroponic system. I hope it helps. If you are dealing with these issues, please give these ideas a try. I hope that you guys have success with them. Let me know in the comments below if they help you or if you're still having issues. I want to hear about how you guys are doing and try to help you as much as I can. We're kind of all just figuring this out together. <laughs> I feel like I'm very much just trial and error. Air trial and error things? I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah. I hope these tips help, and we will see you in the next one. You and me, we meant to be.